More power, baby! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be installing the AFE cold air intake on my Mazda 3. Now, if you're wondering why I chose to go with the AFE instead of, let's say, the Cork Sport, it's simply due to the fact that the AFE mimics your factory intake system. It has an enclosed box to ensure you get zero heat soak while using your factory intake outlet, which gives me more peace of mind, just knowing that it's not gonna throw off my ECU drastically like a short ram intake would or might. Now, some may argue that why don't you just get the heat shield for the cork sport and while that is true it will help but if you think about it you're sucking in nothing but heat you're underneath the engine this system utilizes the factory system taking air from outside the factory outlet this one just sits right there in your engine bay okay you put a heat shield so it's not as close to the engine but you're still within the engine that makes sense you're still getting that heat so but i know with that short ram it gives an insane insane sound <laughs> God, it's so good. I mean, listen to that thing. It's, it sounds like a freaking blow off valve. It sounds really good. But for me personally, I want to have like a more factory style system that I know can guarantee me some gains. Whereas that one would just give you nothing but heat soak. But with all that said, at the end of the day, do what you want. Don't let me tell you what to do to your car. But let me know what you guys think. I'm no mechanic. I've learned pretty much everything that I know about my car and cars uh, simply from YouTube. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And now for something completely different. So here we are at the car. First thing we're going to do is obviously disconnect your negative terminal from your battery. Now you're just going to pop off the engine cover. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Now we're going to come over here and remove the PCV hose. Now we're going to take our 10 millimeter and remove these two bolts. Now we're going to take our 10 mil still loosen up this throttle body hose right here. The hose clamp was kind of stuck on there, so you gotta kind of just knock it around to get it free. So then we have full access to pull out the entire air box. All right guys, so taking our factory air box, there's a couple things we're gonna be removing. We're gonna take out these two grommets. So this is the back of the air box. We got three grommets here. We're just gonna be removing these two, okay? So pull those out like that. Also, you're gonna remove your mass airflow sensor. Set that off to the side too. All right guys, so now before you fully throw this away, I would recommend keeping it just in case your Mazda dealership might be a little difficult. You might wanna toss this back in there when you go in for any type of inspection because this, depending on your dealership, could void your warranty. So just a disclaimer. Now we're gonna take our AFE box, add the little ones right here because this is where our screws are gonna go. All right guys, so I found that the easiest way to put these grommets back in is remove the metal piece on the back like that, and then stick it through. Then we just stick the metal thing right back in. And now we're gonna add the two big grommets. We're gonna take our provided AFE throttle body tube and stick our mass airflow sensor right on there. Screw that back into place. And at this point, you wanna go ahead and take your filter and just toss it in there. All right guys, so now you're gonna take your bellows coupling right here, we have the PCV nipple right here, and it's gonna go like this straight back onto the throttle body. Adding your bellows coupling, you wanna go ahead and push it all the way up to these grooves right here. They're all the way around the throttle body. Make sure it's sitting flush up against those grooves. Then we're gonna take our eight millimeter socket and tighten down these hose clamps. Now we're gonna take the PCV hose and reinstall it. And now we're gonna take our AFE big old box and put that in place. But first there's an exposed hole right here that we're gonna cover up, little grommet. So you just stick that in there like this. Now we're gonna take our 10 millimeter screws that we removed earlier and install them back into these holes. Now we're gonna take our throttle body hose and work it into place here. So with that done, it's time to reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Now, unfortunately there isn't a place to put the clip. So we're just gonna kind of tuck it away and plug it in. And then you're gonna go ahead and put back on your negative battery terminal and you're good to go. All 
right guys so i just got back from a drive just broken the intake just to see what it felt like and i gotta say it's pretty good now again take this with a grain of salt we're not going in here expecting to get 500 horsepower out of this thing but i will say you can definitely feel some low-end torque pretty strong around two three thousand rpms but then it died out pretty quickly as i kind of expected it had a little top end but nothing too crazy but if i had to guess i would say maybe about three four five horsepower at most at most but i will say it was worth it i highly recommend this mod whether you go with the cork sport or the afe i don't think you'll be disappointed so with that said guys we'll see you in the next mods video Peace. Be alright, we can be okay. We can 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 be alright. Must have been to 11 when the world ended. At least it felt like it at the time. Teenage years make a heartbreak worse. Plus a lot was going on. Couldn't stop it at the time. Dad tried to flip the house.